Hello, hello, Cancer. Welcome to your September 2019 overview reading. This is good for you if you're a sun, moon, or rising Cancer. And before I dive into this, please take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you check me out on Instagram at Onyx Healing. Like this video if you care to show me some love. And don't forget, for those of you who would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I am always available. You can check out the description box for all of the ways to work with me. Now, without further ado, I am going to lay this spread out, and this is just going to be 10 cards that I lay out in whatever formation makes sense, and then we will get into the reading. All right, let's see what's coming up first for you. We have good things to come. There are so many amazing gifts coming my way. I can't see them now because I respect the general convention of not peeking under the wrapping paper, but they will show up when the time is just right, and that's when I'll remember how much fun it is to be surprised. Okay, good things to come. So maybe use that as a mantra for yourself this month. That might be really helpful for you, especially if you've been feeling like you're in a tough spot. All right, then we have true abundance is an inside job. Ain't that the truth? It requires you to tune things up internally in order for them to get reflected to you on the outside in the material world. So don't forget that. This would be a good month to really dive into where you might be feeling scarce or where you might be feeling as though there's not enough or you're short on something. And then we have Cobra. So this is about waiting before taking really radical action, right? So you might not want to shake a whole bunch of stuff up immediately. This might be a good time to just hang in there, wait and see. That's something that's been coming up quite a lot in terms of the wait and see where things go, wait and see where things land. I think that the Cobra is just reminding you, take a moment to pause, contemplate, breathe into it before sticking to a decision or before coming to a conclusion. So I'm getting that this is more of how you can approach, like anticipate good things coming in, focusing on the abundance internally while being still and seeing what comes to you as a result. Of course, you're, you're going to be continuing to take action throughout the month, but the thing is that you don't want to try so hard that you're missing where things could really pick up for you. So sometimes stillness might be the best solution to the problem rather than frantically taking action that's misdirected. Then we have the Seven of Wands. This is all about things getting easier. So coming out of the woods, getting out of sticky situations or things that may have been really fatiguing and exhausting. I'm getting this is an emergence out of that state. Let's see what else we have going on. Page of Cups. Okay, now the, the Page of Cups is about being honest with yourself, being vulnerable in ways that maybe you don't normally get the opportunity to do, just because the Page of Cups is kind of like, it, it predates things that happen that made you feel jaded. This is going outside of that altogether. So I'm getting that really how you're going to elevate yourself this month is by getting back in touch with that sensitive side of yourself, the part of you, of course, since you are you have Cancerian energy, that's not an issue, but it's more of not expecting bad things to happen. That's what you're flipping around this month, like anticipating the worst. That's what seems to be transitioning. That's why you had the good things to come card come up. This is important because it's drilling the message that Good things can happen, good things do happen, and that's where you can really put your mindset in order to help you this month. But you have to be willing to see it that way. If you just already go in with your expectations set, then you're not going to get the rewards of the Page of Cups. Let's see what else is going on. We have the Ace of Wands, Initiation, 
this is a great card to get started, take action, make it happen, do the thing. Now, you're going to want to balance that with also your energetics as well. So remember, because of the Cobra, it's like this is a good initiation card. Aces often are, but it's also about having an energetic bounce back. Like you're feeling as though you're more yourself. You're feeling as though you have energy that may have been lost during this season. And so this is actually going to be kind of recharging for you this month. That's at least what I'm getting from this so far. It's really where you're able to recuperate and have your bounce back. And then we have temperance, so this is balance. That's what I was mentioning before with the cobra, is like not taking misdirected action that doesn't make sense for you. The temperance card is a reminder of that. It's saying figure out what action does make sense, how you're balancing that out with everything else that you have going at this time. And that's where you're going to find your sweet spot. It, some, Of course, it's a case-by-case -case basis, but essentially... There are times when you want to take a whole bunch of action, and there's times when you need to pause. So figure out what the right balance is for you. Have you because if you're feeling frantic, then the solution is to slow down. But if you feel like you've been slowed down, then it's going to be weaving in some some action that makes you feel confident. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Power, authority over resources, really flexing your abundance this month, like your belief in yourself in order to cultivate that. That's the abundance is an inside job. The King of Pentacles is a reflection of how you can embody that more and more. Let's see what else is going on. We have the Three of Pentacles, so it takes work. It is going to take effort, right? I'm going to clarify these two together because they seem to be playing together when I'm reading this. King of Wands. So you have to give it energy. Whatever you're giving energy will grow. It will gain steam. It will pick up, but you have to be consistent. You have to kind of commit to it. So that's what the King of Pentacles is reflecting here. It's a long game. This is a long-term project. And the King of Wands reminds us that it's the consistency and stability of that energetic investment that really allows us to build whatever we want to create. So that is what the Three of Pentacles is reflecting. So all of this is kind of in service of your projects, your endeavors, your pursuits, your manifestations. It's interesting, the way that I kind of am reading this layout for you is this is more of your external world, kind of what's going on on the outside. I imagine this will show what's going on on the inside internally. So just keep in mind, you're going to need to figure out where your energy is at and what you can use to better balance it for sustainability for the long term. Now let's see what else is going on. The tower. Breaking it down, having breakthroughs. I like this card because you have all these abundance cards on the table as well. What that tells me is that this is going to be a month where you really get some lessons in your belief around what is enough and that's awesome in my opinion that's good work that's good stuff that you're actually breaking down and allowing to just kind of go wherever it needs to let me see what else is coming up we have the four of knives this is that slow pace that i was describing earlier in terms of frantic energy is going to perpetuate frantic experiences. Balanced, grounded energy is going to make things feel more secure and stable. I'm going to pull a clarifier for these two. Ten of Wands. So if you're staring at things so closely that you start to get yourself worked up or you think yourself into a tizzy and you can't see the solution outside, that means you really need to either delegate, take something off your plate, you know, scrap a project for the time being, you can come back to it later, and taking time to center yourself and get quiet. 
that's what the Four of Knives or the Four of Swords is reflecting here. But the Ten of Wands is overwhelm. Needing to problem solve so much to the point where it's just causing backlash is not going to be a good strategy for you. So kind of allow, allow your belief systems to be challenged by the idea of if I perhaps do less or if perhaps I don't get at myself as worked up as I was before, what happens? Kind of use it as an experimentation, not with something big or time sensitive, but if you can do that with something small and really push yourself to see, does your world burn down in flames? I highly doubt that. It can, it, it might just be that your energy is matched in that situation. I hope that makes sense. I kind of feel like I'm rambling, but it's all about the state that you're in and trusting your energetics more than a lot of the other stuff that you might have reflected. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. This is all about scarcity coming up right here. Scarcity, not enough time, not enough energy, not enough resources, not enough, not enough, not enough, not enough. So then I would ask you, is the problem that you're facing or is whatever might be on your mind a problem that is so massive that God can't solve it. That whenever I'm feeling really worked up, that's kind of where I go. Like, is it, can God seriously not solve it? Or the universe, divine source, whatever you like to work with, it doesn't really matter. The four of pentacles is just a major reflection of where you feel like you're scarce or like you don't have enough or that there's no way out, that's where you're really doing the work. That's what's being broken down. Also around those of you that are over-functioners, if you pour a whole bunch of energy into something until you're burned out and you're kind of addicted to that stress cycle, this is something that's going to be showing you another path in another way. And then we have the Six of Wands. This is victory, you getting to where you're going, what you need to do kind of getting a helping hand as well along the way. That's something that I'm definitely seeing with this card as well. So I just see this as you're, it's kind of like you don't have to sacrifice yourself in order to get what you want, but that might be a belief system that's still there. It's like, I have to suffer in order to make things work, or this has to be as hard as possible in order for me to see results. You know, that that's just a belief system. That's not an actual reflection of reality. It's just something that you may have been programmed to believe. And it's all coming down in September. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Be mindful of your energy, your pursuits, and what you're bringing to the table each time you enter a situation or whatever. So the, the this is also quite a guarded card and a guarded knight. So it's something where you are probably going to have to push yourself outside of your comfort zone, especially around energetic exchange. That's something that you might find because these are all like withhold, withhold, withhold. Scarcity, trying to slow down, but I'm afraid to slow down. That's what this energy was down here. But it's kind of like you need to slow down to speed up a little bit this month. And it's okay if that feels really scary in the moment. You're just using it as an experiment to see what happens. Now we're going to do a three card pick. You're welcome to pick a card, any card, as few or as many as you'd like. Ask a question, whatever you need. Card number one, the sun, vitality, energy, having fun, enjoying yourself. It's like play, make time for play. That could be really useful. Even if you don't see how that's going to benefit you, it's about loosening up the energy because this seems like things are really wound tightly for you. And this is about releasing some of that in some capacity, enjoying yourself more, enjoying the process more, figuring out ways to actually make that a reality. Card number two, we have the six of pentacles, give and take, input, output. Where are you feeling like there's not a proportionate input, output? Because any areas that you're you're feeling like you're dumping so much energy into them and they're not growing at all and it's not fulfilling, see what happens when you 
give it less energy and see if that helps loosen things up or get things flowing again. Just check to see, are you smothering something with energy? A lot of people don't realize that can that can happen sometimes. You, It is possible to give something too much energy, but it takes a while to figure out what that balance is. So just check yourself. And then what are other areas that you want to see grow, but you're not giving any energy? So do some evaluating. And then card number three, we have the star. Everything is working out for your highest good, even if you can't see it. And I know that can be kind of a tough pill to swallow, but you like your faith has to be greater than the stuff that pops up. That's kind of the only way you're going to be able to maintain it, you know? So this is just a huge reminder, like, yes, you're moving with the current in the right direction. Things are progressing as they need to. Count everything as a blessing. If something doesn't work out, it's a blessing. If something does work out, it's a blessing. So try to interpret both of those as you being spared. And the more you act from a space of alignment and doing what's best for you, you're not going to go wrong. But you have to focus on the feeling. All right, my friends, that is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. And until next time, have a beautiful rest of September. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video. And check me out on Instagram at Onyx Healing. If you need to work with me, go to onyxhealing.com. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.